This is a quick guide to DDC CI. This is a setting that might exist on your uh, display. Uh, this actually existed on my TCL gaming monitor. It's a feature that I wasn't even aware of that, well, such a thing even exists. Now, DDC CI or DDC slash CI stands for Display Data Channel Command Interface. It is a set of standards that allow the computer's graphics card to communicate with and control a monitor settings. This communication happens over the same cable that carries the video signal. This enables a two-way conversation between your computer and the monitor or monitors. It can actually control several monitors. So this allows you to adjust settings like brightness, contracts, and other settings from your computer's operating system or through third-party software without needing to use the physical buttons on the monitor itself. And the operating system can receive information from the monitor, such as its supported display modes and capabilities. So for me, for example, this particular monitor, I have this in the settings. You can see I go to settings and then I see DDCCI and I can toggle, toggle it on. Now there are many third-party apps that actually works with it, like Monitorian, for example, the popular and well-regarded Twinkle Tray brightness slider which actually the one that I'm actually using, and I'm gonna show you an example. Another one I saw on the Microsoft Store is brightness control. Just so you know, the sun will give you more control than others, while one will give you control over maybe just the contrast and brightness, while the other can give you more control, like for example, controlling the saturation, uh, the power, and so on. For myself, I decided to install Twinkle Tray. It's also available on the Microsoft Store. Once I install Twinkle Tray, I can access it through the system tray and then control the brightness of all the different monitors that are connected to my computer and are DDC CI enabled. It makes it very easy to just control the two connected monitors with just sliding it in Windows without needing to go for each one and control it using the OSD, the physical controls. In this particular software, I can actually see which actually uh, displays are supported and which are not and can actually see the settings. Like for example, this is the TCL 27G64. I can call the control here, the contrast, volume, and power state. There's also an option to uh, add a VCP code to control other features, but again, do it at your own risks. Now, the specific one, uh, Twinkle Tray has many more features like time adjustment, old key, shortcuts, and so on. It's very easy to use, and for me, it works incredibly well, no issues. And then I can just go and change the settings. For example, I can change the slider to change the contrast, uh, or I can change the volume, for example, for connected headphones uh, that are connected to the 3.5 um, microphone, uh, sorry, headphone jack on the back of the monitor. Again, if such one exists. So let me show you in off screen how it works. This is for the TCL, for example, I'm just changing the brightness, the contrast, and it will be reflected in the OSD settings as well. So this is a really amazing quality of life feature for those who are, you know, working with lots of displays and sometimes see my, themselves changing the settings here and there. Depends maybe on the game they are playing or if you are switching to, you know, something that is more needs critical work like color adjustment and you want to change different settings. If you are playing during day or during night and you want to reduce the brightness, for example. So I've been gaming for so long and I didn't even know that such feature exists, although it actually existed on my previous display as well, but I didn't know about this feature. So now you know and you can use it yourself. Good luck. Give a like if you find this one useful. See you on the next guide. Cheers.